Hi there. Today we're going to try to get some information from an Apache weblog. What we're looking for are search terms that people have used when they visited our support forums. When someone searches for something in the forums, it also shows up as a record in our logs, but they're not readily available in our web analytics tools. So our task today is to find out what search terms people have been using in our forums and how many times they've been using them. So we've got an Apache weblog in front of us, and it's about 765,000 records long. You've got all your typical information, IP address, date, etc. We're going to look at field 6, which shows requests, like when a user clicks on a page or searches the forums. And for this record, the keyword searched on was proxy, presumably to find out how Strata handles proxy settings. All right, so what we want to do is get the search term proxy on its own. So we'll start this process by creating a calculated field and call it search term. In order to parse this data, first we'll use a function called string part. This will help us focus on the part of the field we want to deal with. So we'll type in the field we're working with, and then enter the string part function, and then select the part we want. And the default delimiter is a space, so we can say we want the first or the second or the third part. And as a side note, you can also choose your own delimiters, and in this case, the slash might make sense. For simplicity, though, we'll just use the second part. I also see that my field width isn't wide enough here, so we'll just increase that too. Now we're only looking for the search term, so we'll remove all the text that appears before it. For this job, we'll use the substring function. This takes a string, which we've already defined, and then requires the starting point of the new string, which we'll say 20, and when the string should end. And I see that I've guessed incorrectly, so let's try 29. And now we have isolated the search term, proxy. Now before I group the search terms together, I see that I've got some incorrect data in my new field, since most of these log records aren't actually forum search requests. So I need to do something in order to only show the legitimate search terms. Now I could create a filter that only showed records containing the unique search string. Uh, however, we'll just incorporate this directly into the calculated field. And we'll do this by building an if statement. So the logic is, if the original field contains the unique search string, which in this case is forum search PHP keywords equals, and we'll just copy and paste this right into the expression builder. So if it contains that unique search string, then include our search term that we've already defined, or otherwise just mark it as not applicable. All right, so there it is. Now the last step is to group on this calculated field to see all the search terms. So I'll open up the grouping dialog, and then we'll group on the search term field, and then we'll also throw in a count to see how many times the search string was requested. For the 756,000 records, this grouping operation will take a little less than a minute to complete. As an aside, when you're working with your large log files, you'll often get a handful of records that contain a really long string or query, or even a spam record that will take your normal field width from, say, 150 characters wide to 500 or 1,000 characters wide. And this really bloats the file size and slows down the processing. So assuming those extra wide records aren't necessary, you can just toggle the table to the design view and simply cut down the width of the field. This will effectively delete any excess data from the width that you've removed, so you just want to be careful. However, it could really make your analysis a lot more efficient. All right, our grouping took about 38 seconds to finish. So finally, we'll sort descending on the count field to find out which terms were most requested. And we see that 26 people searched for the word proxy. In addition, now we've got a nice list of 232 search terms to look over and see if we can make improvements to the support area on our website. So there's a quick introduction on using Keurig Strata to do some ad hoc analysis in a weblog. If you've got any questions, please feel free to post a note on our forums and we'll be happy to help. Thanks.